This book is called Chicken Rolla by Mary Jane and Herm Och. Chicken Rolla had a wonderful chickhood until one night when a fox got into the coop and carried off her mother. Chicken Rolla's father, now a single rooster, did his best to raise her, providing her with a happy and stable coop life. Then a few, then a few years later, a hen from another farm showed up with her two daughters and convinced Chicken Rolla's father to marry her. Chicken Rella was excited to have a new family. She even put her sewing skills to good, good use, making three dresses as welcome gifts for her stepmother and new stepsisters, Ovamelda and Culestera. Such a sweet girl, said the stepmother with a smile that gave Chicken Rella hen bumps. Before long, the stepmother sent Chicken Rella's father off on a wild goose chase. Then she proceeded to redecorate. This doesn't look like home anymore, Chicken Rella said. That's because it's my coop right now, not yours, said the stepmother. You have too many clothes. I want you to let out your dresses to fit my girls. But what will I wear, asked Chicken Rella. You're just a servant now. You only need one dress and you won't be living in the main coop anymore. From then on, stepmother locked Chicken Rella in the spring house every night. Chicken Rella's days were filled with work. She prepared all the meals, but wasn't allowed to eat with her stepfamily. She ate the bugs that clung to the spring house walls and drank the crystal clear water that bubbled up through its floor. After a short time on this odd diet, Chicken Rella noticed that the shells of her eggs were becoming more and more transparent until soon she was laying eggs of pure glass. One day, the stepsisters came home all a flutter. The prince is seeking a bride, said Ovamelda. He's invited every unmarried hen to the foul ball, added Colestera. I've always wanted to go to a ball, said Chickenrella. Don't be silly, said the stepmother. The prince would never marry a servant. Who wants to get married? asked Chickenrella. I just want to see the fancy ball gowns. Out of the question, answered the stepmother. Now, start making my daughters look beautiful. We don't have much time. Chickenrella's next few days were filled with frantic preparations. Making the stepsisters presentable wasn't easy, especially when they kept adding their own exasperating touches to their outfits. When the big night arrived. The stepmother locked Chicken Rella in the spring house. Later, as Chicken Rella was dozing off, the spring house fizzled with sparkles. Yikes, <gasps> who are you? Gasped Chicken Rella. What, you've never read a fairy tale? I'm your fairy goose mother. I've been watching your stepmother run you ragged. Well, why don't you speak up? My father will fix everything when he gets back. Don't wait for someone else to fix things, dearie. You take charge. Fantastic eggs, though. How did you do that? I think it's something in the water. Oh, yeah, I put a, spring, a spell on this spring a while back. Cool side effect. Her eggs. Fairy Goose Mother, I'd love to go to the foul ball. So go already. Although why you want to go is beyond me. The band is Penny Pullet and the Rock Island Reds. They sound like a chicken toenails on their broken eggshells. But I have nothing to wear. If I had some silk and a few beads, maybe I could make a gown. I'll speed things up. The fairy goose mother waved her wand. Sky blue pink is my favorite color, cried Chickenrella. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm good. I can make a fortune as a fashion designer. Now I remember the story, Chickenrella exclaimed. You'll turn a pumpkin into a coach. I don't do transportation, dearie. I'll call a cab, but at midnight, the cabbie goes off duty and the snazzy outfit goes 
Poof. Chickenrella was thrilled to see all the gowns at the foul ball. The prince was charmed by the exquisite stranger and danced every dance with her, even though they couldn't carry on a conversation over Penny Pullet and the Rock Island Reds music. When the band finally took a break, Chicken Rella heard the clock strike midnight. I must go, she cried. As she dashed out the door, she felt an egg coming on. Oh, I can't stop to lay an egg. But there's no holding back an egg that's on its way, especially a slippery glass one. Chicken Rella ran headlong down the castle steps. She was too late. The cab drove away. Then the gown disappeared in a burst of fireworks and Chickenrella ran cluck naked all the way home. The next day, Chickenrella heard a commotion. Hear ye, hear ye, the prince seeks the mysterious hen he met at the foul ball. The only clue she left is this egg. All single hens, please present your eggs. <gasps> Look, mine have big yolks, said Calistera. She is a big yolk said Ovamelda. The egg must match this one in, the one in this velvet bag, said the prince. Does anyone else live here? The stepmother blocked the prince's view. No, your highness. I live here, cried Chickenrella. But the prince didn't hear her. He and the page turned to leave. Wait! I lay glass eggs. Is that what you're looking for? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Release her at once. Your Highness surely wouldn't want to marry my servant, Chickenrella. Finding a bride was my mother's idea, said the prince. I only went to the ball to see all the fancy gowns. Oh, me too, exclaimed Chickenrella, running out into the sunlight. Your costume was excellent, my dear. Thanks, Your Highness, I'm really into fashion. There was a burst of sparkles. Fashion? Did I hear fashion? I'm into accessories, said the prince, especially shoes. We all love clothes, said Chickenrella. Let's start our own fashion business. Done, declared the prince. We'll name it after you. So the fairy goose mother zapped up some fabulous fabrics, Chickenrilla cut and stitched, and the prince designed stylish shoes to match. That's how they started the fashion line called Chickenrilla. Their first show in New York, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Their first show in New York was an extravaganza. <laughs> and together the three friends worked happily ever after <laughs> you're all a fancy well, I hope you enjoyed Chicken Rilla